from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Praise to you, O Christ. So this is Matthew 26, the first through the 30th verses. Now when Jesus had finished saying all these things, again, some other things that he was saying, he said to his disciples, you know that after two days, the Passover is coming and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Well, then the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, who was called Caiaphas, and they conspired to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. But they said, oh, not during the festival, or there may be a riot among the people. Now, while Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, oh, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a large sum and the, and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. Truly, I tell you, whenever... Wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Then one of the twelve, who is called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, mm, What will you give me if I betray him to you? Well, they paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from that moment, he began to look for an opportunity to betray Jesus. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. They became greatly distressed, began to say to him one after another, Oh, surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes at his, as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for him that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You may be seated. Well, 
The Mount of Olives connects our readings from outside and indoors, beginning going to the Mount of Olives. I like how they, when they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives, like we were singing, prepare ye the way on our way in. This week, the focus is on the last week of Jesus' earthly ministry. It is the history of the Passover, which becomes holy communion for us, for Christians around the world. So rather than literally taking a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, where walking where Jesus walked, though I did check online and on YouTube, there's a live cam there right now that you can watch. People coming to and fro on the Mount of Olives. But today we use these words of God, our Bible, to link us to the significance of Jesus' life in ours today. As Jesus comes to us today, we are reminded that Jesus comes to us through the word of scriptures, but also through preaching, through the words and waters of baptism, as we remember baptism, and through the bread and the fruit of the vine, as Jesus says, of communion, and through prayer. These ways that God comes to us, present, participating in our lives. So how can we be open to the ways in which Jesus Christ is made known to us this week? How do we receive these gifts as we open our ears and our hearts to the presence of God's own suffering and love revealed in Jesus Christ? Well, the re reading that I shared with you is from the 26th chapter of Matthew's Gospel. And the theology of the cross is begun there, but also our theology of Holy Communion, which is connected to the Passover. The journey in the text moves with Jesus and his disciples to the Last Supper, to the Passover meal that they were sharing, that final holy week of Jesus' life. And the words that Jesus uses reminds us of an earlier meal, the feeding of the 5,000. Well, really, 5,000 plus women and children, as another Bible story remembers it. And some of the important points about these meals are revealed again for us. How Jesus takes bread. How Jesus blesses it. How Jesus breaks it, enabling it to be able to be shared. And he gives it for the disciples to eat and to share it with themselves and others, to share the forgiveness of sins in his own body and blood. But when we share Holy Communion, we don't get a whole meal out of it. We're not eating a whole Passover meal. We've allowed God to reduce it to just a sip of the fruit of the vine and just a, just a small piece of the bread. But this is actually more of like an appetizer of the feast to come. And yet, the size of the meal does not diminish its significance. While there may be a feast to come in the days to come with Jesus, we are reminded of the power of just a piece of what Jesus has given to us. This points to the possibility of us sharing what we have and letting Jesus bless the abundance around us for the sake of feeding all. So I want to talk just a little bit about this insignificant 